Miss you yesterday. We're going to make up for it today. On, uh, what is it? August 28th, 2022, right? That's Sunday here in the Maryland area. So, for those of y'all, wherever you at, wherever you standing, if you're not feeling well, we about to, we about to make sure you start feeling well, being complete. Fulfill and woke and that from your sleep, okay? Not just physically, but spiritually and mentally. Feel me? So, grandma time, 12 15, y'all ready? All right, because we reading two chapters. We missed yesterday, and we're going to read today first. Psalm, P S A L M and S at the end of Psalm, depending on your Holy Bible. Chapter 48. For today, and then we're gonna go to 47 after we read 48. So we're on page 648. And my mama young, big holy black man, big yeah. King James Version. Y'all ready? Y'all know what's up, man. Get that bookmark in there. And you gotta put the leaves back. Got like a leaf in there as my uh, bookmark. Okay, so Psalm chapter 48. Let's pray and get into it. Oh, thank you, Father, for waking us up. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you humbly but boldly, thanking you for everything. Appreciative of everything. Showing gratitude from the little things to the big things. We can't even count all in between, Father God. So I just want to take the time to say thank you for waking us up and giving us another gift called today to share with you, Father God. I, my provider, my source, the truth. To all living things, to all living beings, the Holy Creator who created us for His glory and to reconcile us back to Him for His glory. Lord, I pray with every breath that we breathe and heartbeat that beat to the organ functioning in this body, I will be aligned to your will so that you may be real clear to those who are lost and need to be saved. Thank you for the opportunity to wake up and read your word, partake of your goodness. Feast off your heavenly buffet. We did not know about until we got to know you through your son, Jesus Christ, who always talked about you. Never left one moment to us thinking to ourselves, but always gave us wisdom and knowledge to search and cling to that marvelous light in the midst of our sin and darkness and wickedness. Lord, you gave us scriptures as you gave us you, yourself, your love, your loving kindness, which is better than life. We need that, Lord, and we need that to share with those around us and give to those who need it the most. Help Blessing, most of all, just caring, being careful. Thank you for positioning us to do that, be that. Most of all, you be glorified as we worship and praise you for getting us through that nonstop. You teach us to be strong in the Lord and of his power, of his might. 
of his free will to love us freely with no remorse, regret, or anything because he know what he created it for. We just now learn, and as we're learning, Lord, please position us not to miss nothing but to fulfill everything. In Jesus' name, thank you for reading and teaching us to read to others so that they know what they need to open their mouth up and read. And I pray that those who are deaf, mute, and can't read for themselves, you position us to help them heal and be complete, giving us the opportunity to reach out to them, help them where they need to be helped, and you get the glory out of the miraculous help that's been given, shown. Most of all, no void being left but fulfilled according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, nothing less. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen again. Oh, here we go. Psalm, P-S-A-L-M, and S at the end of Psalm. Depending on your holy Bible. Good. All right, grandma time. Here we go. Psalm chapter 48. The title at the top of this page is called uh, The Beauty of Zion. Wow. The Beauty of Zion. Okay. The title for Psalm chapter 48 is A Song and Psalm for the Sons of Korah. Period. A song and song for the sons of Korah. Period. All right. Chapter 48, verse 1. Y'all there yet? Cookies. All right, here we go. Verse 1. Great is the Lord, comma, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, comma, in the mountain of his holiness. Period. Verse 2. Beautiful for situation, comma, the joy of the whole earth, comma, is Mount Zion, comma, on the sides of the north, comma, the city of the great king, period. Verse 3, God is known in her palaces for a refuge, period. Verse 4, 4, comma, lo, comma, the kings were assembled. Comma, they pass by together, period. Verse 5, they saw it, comma, and so they marveled, semicolon. They were troubled, comma, and hasted away, period. Verse 6, fear took hold upon them, there, comma, and pain, comma, as of a woman in travail, period. Verse 7, thou break. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. Period. Verse 8. As we have heard, comma, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, comma, in the city of our God, comma, God will establish it forever. Period. Salah. Period. Verse 9. We have thought of thy loving kindness, comma, O God, comma, in the midst of thy temple, period. Verse 10, according to thy name, comma, O God, comma, so is thy praise unto the end of the earth, comma. Thy right hand is full of righteousness, period. Verse 11, let Mount Zion rejoice, comma, let the daughters of Judah be glad, come, because of thy judgment, period. Verse 12, walk about Zion, come, and go round about her, come, tell the towers thereof, period. Verse 13, mark ye well her but, sorry, verse 13, mark ye well her bulwark. A bulwarks. Hope I said that way. Right. Forgive me, comma. <laughs> Consider her policy, similar, that ye may tell it to the generation following. Period. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, but for it. 
For this God is our God forever and ever, Cody. He will be our God even unto death. Period. And that is the end of Psalm chapter 48. Okay? Now let's go to 47. So you can get completely healed. Okay? Don't stop reading till you heal. Man. I'm telling y'all what's up, man. Y'all better take it and run with it, man. Or you're going to get left. You're going to get left. We don't need that, man. We need you in the light, okay? All right. Let's read again. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you once again for the opportunity to glorify, worship, praise, everything about you. That you bless us to give to those who don't know about you. So that we will all be in right position to reconcile, redeem, and be fulfilled according to our faith in Christ Jesus who gave us the chance to live. To meet our Heavenly Father through Him once again. We thank you for this opportunity. And we don't take it for granted to read your word to those who need it read to. So that they may be spiritually fed. And cut down some of the flesh feeding of their flesh. Lord, we know this is not easy for us. So we ask you to help us. Through this, hold our hand and guide us through it in every word read and spoken. May it hit that dark spot and replace it with your righteousness so that we can know the difference that the devil is a liar and that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior over all creation and that we should run to Jesus, cling to him. And understand that we are nothing without our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And I pray that with every word read, that I will hit the listener and the viewer. Fulfill them, most of all heal them in that dark place. So they can stop feeling like they are alone in this world and know that they are being watched their whole life, their whole existence has been carried by an angel God created just for them, including him, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit guiding them, guiding them. Those who believe in Jesus, may they keep believing, being edified, disciplined, and fulfilled in their healing as they keep on healing, because we know healing is the process. And so we pray through this process, you give us the patience to keep going and the strength to persevere according to your riches and glory, nothing less. In Jesus' name, be glorified through everything. Holy Spirit, have your way in it through everything. Make sure we don't make our own kind of flesh decisions without the Holy Spirit in everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen again. Oh, all right, here you go. Chapter 47 is Psalm, P-S-A-L-M, and S at the end of Psalm, depending on your holy Bible. Yeah, Mama Young, Big Black Wood. Cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's that. Holy, holy. All right, on the top of this page, on 647, God is a refuge and a help. Amen to that. God is a refuge and a help. Top of the page. All right. Now at the chapter for 47, the top, the title for chapter 47 of Psalm is To the Chief Musician, comma, a psalm for the sons of Korah, period. Once again, to the chief musician, comma, a psalm for the sons of Korah, period. Ooh, I'm sweating. Yeah. Here we go. All right. That's that good sweat right there. Burn that fat out. You know what I'm saying? You eat, make sure you work out after you eat. Psalm 47, verse 1. We there yet? Cook. All right, here we go. Verse 1. Oh, clap your hand. Come. Oh, yeah, people. Semicolon. Shout unto God. 
with the voice of triumph. Period. Let me repeat that. Uh, clap your hands. Come on. All your people. Semicolon. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Period. Verse 2. For the Lord most high is terrible. Semicolon. He is a great king over all the earth. Period. Verse 3. He shall subdue the people under us, comma, and the nations under our feet, period. Verse 4, he shall choose our inheritance for us, comma, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, period. The lie, period. Verse 5, God is gone up with a shout, comma, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet, period. Verse 6. Excuse <clears throat> me. Sing praises to God. Come. Sing praises. Come. Sing praises unto our king. Come. Sing praises. Period. Verse 7. For God is the king of all the earth. Come. Sing ye praises with understanding. Period. Verse 8. God reigneth over the heathen. Come. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. Period. Verse 9. The princes of the people are gathered together. Comma. Even the people of the God of Abraham. Colon. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. Colon. He is greatly exalted. Period. Oh, that's the end. I'm flipping the page ready to go. That, that's it. That's the end of Psalm chapter 47 in my Mama Young Holy Bible. <laughs> the big one. Y'all know what's up. Man. Get your reading on there. You can get your healing on there. God feeds your spirit. Okay? The word of God. Okay? Same way you feeding your flesh that food. You need to feed the spirit the word of God. Okay? Look in that mirror and go for it. Stop being scared of what you see in the mirror. You can't, you can't run from what's real. Man. It's real. Cook. <laughs> oh, let me take the ginger ale to that. Man. Ginger ale. Put the guns down. Put the weapons of mass destruction away. Pick up your holy Bible, okay? One more time. Lord, just thank you. Oh. For that good food right there, that's that living bread and living water. And all the good food you thought of but never taste. That's what this is right here. Yeah, that daily bread, daily water. It's the best food, best meal ever. You don't believe me? Try it for yourself. Hey, see how much you're going to be talking after you done tried it for yourself. No distractions, no interruptions. Just, just you, God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit reading him for your life so he get the glory and the desires of your heart be met, fulfilled. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleeping on the Holy God, listening to man. <laughs> you better listen to your heavenly Father through this word, or you gonna end up short every time. Okay. I'm here to warn y'all and warning you, read out loud. You know? Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this in the first place to wake y'all up. Get back to the basic. Reading your heavenly heavenly Father. That way you know what you're doing out here. And you know where you belong out here. You feel me? Because we in the world, but not of it. Remember that. Peace. Love y'all. Stop killing each other off, man. Get along. Or walk away. You got a big earth. It's okay to walk away. God will walk with you man, if you invite him to do that. In Jesus' name. Amen. And then that. Catch y'all later. Good. And then that. Peace.